Today, we will show you what to do if your child's G button becomes clogged. If your child's gastrostomy button has become blocked by formula or medication, it is important to unblock the button as soon as possible. The longer the button remains blocked, the harder and more solid the clog can become. A clogged button prevents your child from receiving their feeds, fluids, or medications. There are different signs that your child's G button might be clogged. An early sign of a clog is when it takes more pressure than usual to push fluid into the button. If only a small amount of flesh goes in, it is sign of a partial blockage. If no fluid will go into the button, it may be completely blocked. Another sign of a G button clog is slow or blocked feeds. If your child receives continuous feeds through a pump, the pump alarm may sound and read occlusion or flow error. If your child receives gravity feeds, the liquid may stay in the reservoir and not drip through the tubing. There are a few steps to take when you think a G button is clogged. First, look at the extension tube. Make sure that there are no kinks and that any clamps are open. Sometimes the solution may be as simple as straightening or unclamping the extension tube. To keep troubleshooting, gather your supplies. You will need a small syringe. A 5cc syringe works well and you need some warm water. Remove the adapter from the G button and flush the adapter to make sure that it is open and free from clogs. The flush should flow easily through the adapter tubing. Reattach the adapter to the G button and gently try to flush with another five cc's of water. If there is a lot of resistance and it is hard to push fluid through the button, Gently push and pull the syringe plunger. This action will help to clear out any buildup inside the button. You may need to repeat flushing the button with five cc's of water to unclog the button. Once the button is unclogged, flush it with another five cc's of water to fully clear the tubing. Remember, do not place a syringe directly into the G button to unclog the button. It may damage the valve. If you are unable to unclog the G button, you may need to insert a new G button. You should only insert a new G button if your child's stoma is fully healed after being placed. If your child's stoma is new or has signs of infection, please make a clinic appointment with your provider. You can prevent clogs by making sure the G button is flushed with five to 10 cc's of water after you give medication or bolus feeds, or every four to six hours if your child receives continuous feeds. As always, if you have any questions about caring for your child's G button, please call your child's provider.